Hey, what's up? Welcome to What's Cooking with Chef Noel. How are you doing today? So today we're making a coconut crusted fish. I'm gonna do a pineapple, mango, and avocado salsa with some scotch body pepper in that. And then I'm also going to be making a tomato based rice that's in the book. So if you have your book, you can try this recipe. It's on page 121, so this is the rice we'll be making. It's a tomato basil rice, all right? Page 121. So welcome, it's another week, we're live, thanks for joining. Of course, we're watching from what you're cooking, what you're sipping on, I wanna know your business, right? So we're gonna start with the rice, so we can get that steaming slowly and then work on the fish. Because the fish, we're gonna be very careful with the fish because of the coconut, this one will burn easily. Hey, Gillette, how are you? Alrighty, so I got my pan there. I'm gonna get some margarine in this, all melted. My rice. Turn this down a bit. All right. And for this rice, I like to soak into tomato basil rice, guys. Hey, what's up? Welcome. Remember to like and share. Start your own little watch parties. So that's some onion in the pot. I'm gonna add some garlic to that. Atlanta and the house. Where my Toronto massive, my New York massive. So in a pot I got some margarine, some onion and some garlic now. So I'm gonna saute these. Then I'm gonna add my um, tomato paste and it all cooked. I got a little fresh Base here. So you know Thanksgiving is coming up, Christmas is around the corner. So if you're looking for something different away from you know regular rice and peas, regular white rice, this is a different rice that you can try. I'm still gonna add some dried basil to this. I like the dried basil um in mine. But the fresh one is so strong in flavor, right? So this is the dried one. I'm gonna add to this, so like a, a teaspoon or two. So that's, a, that's two teaspoons I added just now. Bam! So onion, garlic, and basil. And then now we're gonna add um, the tomato paste to this. If you have a cookbook cuisine by Noel, it's on page 121. And if you need to get a copy of the book, it's on my website, cuisinebynoel.com, as well, or on Amazon. So once you saute this a little in a 
get all the flavor release. And what? We can also add a little, um, a little ginger to that. We can add a little ginger to this. Give it that nice little flavor, right? It's a small amount, very fine. So make the rice very flavorful, right? So if you're just joining, we're making coconut crusted um, fish with a tomato basil rice. I'm gonna make a pineapple, avocado, mango, and scotch bonnet um, salsa. Then now we add the rice to this. All right, so we're gonna saute the rice a little. You coat the rice with all the seasoning and everything, and then we're gonna add the liquid now. So you can add some stock to this. So if you have some vegetable stock or chicken stock, that would be perfect to add to this. Look, nice color already, nice little thing going on. All right. So I don't got any stock, so I'm gonna use just some hot water I'm using. And I already got some butter in there. And now I'm just gonna let this simmer now. Mm. A little splash there. So once it's simmering now, then we'll start on the fish. And if you have tomato sauce, like you know, in those bottles, you can use those as well. I forgot to saute my um, tomatoes, but. Some fresh tomatoes to it, you know, give it some life, give it some life. It's somewhat similar, Altia. Oh, Jennifer is asking, Oh, the roux turn up. Oh, the roux came out very good the last time, it was good, but roux is something you have to be careful with, eh? So, your stuff don't get thick on you. But it was good though. I'm gonna add some salt to this, not too much. Watch the blood pressure, y'all. Andrew. So, so this is our rice now. For those you can see, you can see. All right. So just let this stay and um, simmer right there. Boom, just like that. Medium flame. You're good to go. So let's work on the fish now. So we don't need this anymore. So we're doing the coconut crusted fish. Right? So I got some other here. You can use whatever fish you like. Use whatever fish you like. These are some white fish that's very good flavor. Hey Dana, what's up? So for this now, I'm gonna use where's my all right. So I already washed these. So I'm also gonna use some black pepper on these. Where's my salt? Some salt. Hey, what's up? <laughs> I find my salt grinder. So 
So salt and pepper, you know, basic season we need. Not too much stuff, because we have a nice salsa going with this. Too much salt add to taste. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little lime juice on this to add a nice little citrus flavor. And I like to add a little some fresh garlic chopped. If you have some in the fridge that's blended already. Salt, pepper, lime juice, and some garlic. You can use some lemon pepper seasoning if you wish. You can use, you know, whatever you like, right? Whatever seasoning you like. If you have got your fish seasoning you want to use, use it. It's not really John. We're going to follow it, you know, strictly or directly. It's up to you. Your call, right? All right, now. So we'll put this one side. In here now, we got some coconut flakes. So I'm gonna move this now to the back. That here, bam. <laughs> Young cousin the house, what's up? All right. In this now, I'm gonna add some a little flour to this. To my coconut thingy. There are many ways in which you can do this. One of the way, like you can do a butter for it. You can do it this way. You can there, and there are many ways. So there's not just one way to do it. Many different ways. So we'll add some black pepper to this. We're gonna season this a bit. A little more salt to this. I'm gonna add um, some parsley flakes to this so when it's fried you can see that nice, you know, that green. If you wanna add like, um. Basil, and you could add basil to it as well. All right. So, what we need now is Add one egg to that. You following, guys? Following? And then I'm gonna add some coconut milk to this. So this is egg and coconut milk. If you're just joining the basil rice is where you're cooking, that's a basil tomato rice. This now is egg and coconut milk. And in here now, in here we've got some um, coconut flakes, parsley, salt, pepper, a little flour for the um, coconut crusted fish. All right. I'm gonna let a plate over here to rest these on when they're finished fry. There will be a nice temperature for that. And we already seasoned our fish. Every week when they say have left hand, I don't use left hand. <laughs> So 
So here we go now. So in the egg. And then now we just dip these in a coconut um, mixture. All right, and you just coat your fish. Just like that. And we'll just continue now the process. And this is a messy part of it. I used um, um yeah man, yes, you could just use coconut water, um the coconut milk. Yeah. If you don't want to use eggs, so just use the coconut milk alone. It's just to get it all, you know, moist so you can have the bread in stick, right? Mm. Alright, so it's gonna clean off here. Get going. And I'm going to make our salsa after this. Hey, Kimmy. All right, so we need to test this. We don't want our oil too hot because what will happen is that this thing is going to get brown really, really quick. So we need to turn on the flame on our rice. For these fish now, like trust me, I want to watch these because in no time they will start to brown. And you can do the same thing with um, shrimp. Hey Brenda, sometimes. Hey Coco, what's up? And you don't want to crowd your pot too much. So in the meantime, while that's cooking, let's make our salsa.
put some paper towel on the plate to absorb the excess oil. So I want these to go a bit golden. So I'll add some more flame to this, not too high. This one is for the um, salsa. Hey, Mar, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's turn these fish. Alright, so I'm gonna add um, some avocado as well. We'll bring the one to rum. So we're making a um, coconut crusted fish with tomato basil rice. The thing about salsa is that you can use this on anything, salmon, any, you know, like pork, chicken, it's versatile. You can do whatever um, you want to use in it. But I like to use these firm avocados, not a super ripe one. Looks good, yeah. <laughs> and if you're doing like a snapper fish, right? You might have to put it in the oven a bit because it's thicker, right? So this one is very thin. So it's like I don't need to. And then I'm gonna put some pineapple. So we've got two more fish here to fry. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna make a cocktail today as well. I got some sorrel with some rum, some scotch bonnet, simple syrup.
little black pepper on this, some parsley, I'm gonna add a little scotch bonnet to it so it has a little nice little. Oh, yes, you can use your air fryer for the um, fish. That's perfect. So get these nice and golden. So let's add a little scotch bonnet um, pepper to this. No lack of spice, right? Give it a rasta cola. A little lime juice of freshness. And I can put a little olive oil. Sometimes you can use a little honey, but I'm not going to use any in this because the coconut on the fish is a bit sweet, so I don't need that. Alright, so this is our salsa over here. Pineapple, avocado, mango, and parsley, salt, pepper, some lime juice. A little oil and this will be it for the um mm. Dinner is ready. All right, so let's need to check the um, rice. All right, so let's have a little cocktail in the meantime, between time. And this is a tomato rice. Tomato basil rice. All right, so it's cocktail time. Ready for a drink? <laughs> Brenda said, "We're on its way." All right, so cocktail time. A wrong time you reach, Carol. So we need some ice in our shaker. Bam, 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 bam. Trying to think. Okay, I'm gonna use this glass. in our shake and air. So 
So we're gonna add our sorrel. This is um. So let's add our rum. Two ounces of rum. We'll just pour until the ancestors have stop. Right? Where's Sheena? <laughs> Yeah, this rice is really, really good. You guys should give it a try. All right. And then now we're going to add our simple syrup to the glass. This one is a scotch bonnet, simple syrup. So it's a sugar water reduce and I add some scotch bonnet to it. So you give it a nice little sweet and a little spicy flavor but not too spicy then this now is a little um all spice just a little bit you need not too strong so it's like you're making your regular um sorry at home right with the pimento and everything in it same same thing rum and wine same way nothing really different than just the simple syrup which gives it a little more a different flavor And then we'll just give this a shake. A little lime juice. There's a little more room. All right, so and then it does. You can go and shop this now with um something something straw long. So you can go and shop um this with some lime or you know something. Simple, so nice little um scotch right you stir this woo, you stir this up. Come back over here. It's a nice little stir. You get a nice little spice in it, the, the pimento flavor. So it's a nice rich, you know, thing going on. And the simple syrup makes the difference to it with a little scotch bonnet in it, right? So it's time to eat. <coughs> Ready now, ready? So that's our rice on the plate right there. Bam. I like this part even though it got a little, I like that, you know. I'm gonna use two pieces. Bam. Right there. And then now we got our salsa now. We're gonna put our salsa over this now. Get a little on the side over there, over there. You carry it over the side. And we want to put a fresh salad now on this. We're gonna put a fresh salad on this. So let's have a little um, thing on this now.
just lively it up, you know. Lively it up. And that's pretty much it. That's it. Bam! And that's it. So that's your tomato basil rice, which is in a book. Or a salsa or coconut crusted fish and a little green salad over there. Nice and balanced, right? So this rice, so someone is asking if I have a cookbook. Yes, I do. It's called Cuisine by Noel. It's on my website. Chef Noel. Cuisine by Noel.com. Cuisine by Noel.com. I changed it. So it's Cuisine by Noel.com. Or it's on Amazon as well. So cuisinebynoel.com. You can follow on Instagram at I am Chef Noel. Or the link for my chef page is in the caption up top. So this is the rice we just um finished. The tomato basil rice. And this one, you know, is a sweet and spicy roasted cauliflower. We got some light and flary sweet potato croquettes. We got some thyme, I think, and rosemary roasted beets. We got some curry cranberry rice going on there. So, y'all need to check it out. You know, Thanksgiving is coming up. Christmas is coming up. You're looking for new ideas. Look no further. It's here. Alrighty, so thank you guys for watching. Make sure you share the video to your friends. Keep your watch party. So um, I'll see you guys tomorrow on Cuisine by Noel page. We're cooking again tomorrow. I think we're about to do a lasagna tomorrow, I think. Thanks, guys. Nice and simple presentation, right? And it's all tropical and still summerish. Even though summer is going away. Yeah, man, so Cuisine by Noel, check out my Instagram at I am Chef Noel. I also got some videos on my YouTube channel, Noel Cunningham on YouTube. I think it is Noel Cunningham, yeah. And you can see all the videos that you have missed. I got some there, still uploading some. So, stick and stay. Alright, thanks guys, see ya.